Got a bunch of smoke here. I don't know about you, but I like to have clean air. When I breathe, I don't like to breathe in dust. I like to have it as fresh and clean as possible. So today right here, we have the Airversa Purell Home Kit Air Purifier that works with Thread. Now, if you're not familiar with Thread, a little bit of a cliff notes and what you pretty much need to know is that Thread is a smart home standard that's superior to those Wi-Fi options. Because think of it like this, if your internet goes out, you should still be able to control your smart home because there's so many times my internet went out and I couldn't even turn on my lights. So in the case with Thread, instead of using Wi-Fi and all being tied to a router, they're actually tied to each other, so every device you have connected with Thread can talk to each other. So if you're keeping score, the more Thread devices you have talking to each other, the more robust your smart home is. Now the catch is, you do need a Thread-enabled device, such as an Apple HomePod Mini with a Thread border router built in. So that basically allows this Apple HomePod Mini to act as a central hub for Thread devices, and then connect them all together, and you can control them with the Smart Assistant as well. And remember, this is all without needing to be connected to Wi-Fi. Now that being said, not only is this a thread-enabled device, but it's also a three-stage H13 true HEPA filter air filtration system. And it's able to clean the air in a 250 square foot room in 15 minutes, a 500 square foot room in 30 minutes, and up to a 1,000 square foot room in only 60 minutes, which is pretty amazing. Not only can you control it with Siri and your home kit options, but you can also control it with the SleekPoint app on your phone. And if you don't happen to have thread, you can still use this with Bluetooth capabilities, but you will have to be within Bluetooth range. Like I was saying, this does support Apple. Apple HomeKit, real-time PM 2.5 values being displayed on the device itself, network pairing, auto mode so it'll automatically ramp up the fan if the air quality starts getting too bad, we have sleep mode so it won't keep you up at night, a child lock so your kids can't access it if you don't want them to, a timer, fan speed control in case you want to manually adjust the fan speed, as well as a filter status indicator. And speaking of indicators, we do have a nice ring of light here that changes colors depending on how good or bad your air quality is and then works to fix it for you. And of course, it's built on thread and Bluetooth. Now, if we're taking a look at the three-stage filtration system, we are looking at a pre-filter that catches lint, hair, fibers, and pet fur. Second stage is gonna be the H13 True HEPA filter that catches smoke particles, dust, pollen, and pet dander. And then the third stage is gonna be activated carbon layer for smoke, unpleasant odors, such as pet odors and cooking smells. So no matter what kind of odors or allergens are inside of your home, this thing should do a good job at getting rid of them for good. The robust three-stage filtration system can capture up to 99.97% of airborne particles down to 0.3 millicrons in size, as well as 99.9% .9 of airborne particles down to 0.1 millicrons in size. And other than all of those amazing features, it does look very nice and sleek. So now without further ado, let's get inside of the box and take a look at what we got. Inside the box, we do have a setup guide for Apple Home and Thread, as well as a warning to remove the plastic film before use and scan a QR code if you wanna check out the user manual. But it also does include a paper user manual as well. We also do have a power brick and cable, some protective styrofoam, as well as the purifier itself. And this thing actually has a very compact size given that it's able to clean up to a 1,000 square foot room. Now, first things first, taking a look at the front, we do have an all matte white design with Air Versa branding on the front, looking very sleek. Over here on the left side, we do have some vents along with the filters to trap and lock all the particles. Over on the back, we do have a QR code to scan to set it up with Apple HomeKit. Over here on the other side, once again, we do have a nice opening for the filtration system to suck in all the air. Taking a look down here on the bottom, we do have four rubberized feet that, wow, are very, very sticky and work very well. Also down here on the bottom, as you can see, it's locked, but we do have a little knob here that we turn to open, and then we can open up the entire bottom. This is how you're going to be replacing the filters, and before we get any further, we do have to remove the plastic from the filters. Just remember which way the filters were in here so you don't get confused putting them back in the wrong way. Filter one is done, and I really like that it has these pull tabs for easy access. And filter two is done as well. Just for reference, this black side is gonna be facing the inside of the unit, and the side that has the filter is gonna be facing the outside. And we'll just slide it back in, place the cap back on, and lock it back into place, just like so. Before I forget, also on the back, we do have the DC 24 volt input for power. Now coming up to the top, we do have this Knight's Tusk sensitive display that gives you all your different readings, as well as some more vents right here to push air back into your environment. Now we do have power, we did hear a chime, and you can see that it is trying to connect to devices, and we do have a red power button right here in the middle. Let's press that real quick. It turns it on, we have green so far, and 004 for our 
rating of air quality. Now, as you can see, if we take a look right here, we are in automatic mode right here. Over here, we do have this option for a timer and you can adjust it right on here from one hour all the way up to all the way up to 24 hours. Next, we do have sleep mode. So if you tap this, it turns off all the LED lights so the lights won't keep you up at night, as well as bring the fans down to a minimal level. So it's still cleaning the air, but you won't be able to hear it. Let's get this turned back on. And right here, we do have parry mode flashing. Now coming over to the left side, we do have the fan control. So let's see how loud each one is. As you can see, even the most powerful level of five isn't actually too loud. Next up, we do have the child lock. So all we have to do is hold down this little lock icon. It puts it in the lock mode. So now nobody can adjust any of the settings because it's locked. Nothing is gonna happen. But if you wanna turn it off, you just hold down the lock button once again. And it will unlock. So now we can do whatever we want. Next up right here, this icon will light up when you need to replace your filters. And then this little strip of lines right here is actually your filter status. So when it's filled right here, you have a nice new filter. As it goes down, your filter is degrading and you should get ready to change it out before this light turns on. So now that we've figured out how the Air Versa air purifier is working, let's download the Sleek Point app on our phone and open it up. We're gonna tap on add. We're gonna add an Air Versa Purell AP2 air purifier. We're gonna press and hold the network button for approximately five seconds to enter pairing mode. Once you hear those beeps, that means we're ready to go. We're gonna make sure our iOS device is nearby. Make sure we have an Apple HomePod mini or an Apple TV 4K 2021 edition ready to enable thread connectivity and remote access. Make sure the QR code is scannable. Okay, we're gonna confirm. So now we have to scan the QR code that we mentioned before. That's right here on the sticker. All right, it did recognize the air purifier. We're gonna add it to our Apple Home. It's connecting. Okay, now we're gonna choose our air purifier location. We'll just leave it on bedroom. We can give it a unique name if we want to. And then we can also custom label each different option as far as the air purifier itself, as well as the air quality sensor. We can also activate air purifier automations. For example, if you leave home, you could have it turn off or ramp up the fans. And now the air purifier is added to our home, just like that. So of course we can still use the Sleek Point app to control it. We have all the same options that we have on the unit itself right here in the app, and we can easily control it so we can turn it off. It turned off, turn it back on, and it's working once again. We can also see a big indicator of our air quality status right now. We are excellent with 003, which is very good. Down here on the bottom is very cool because you can actually see historical data for your air quality. So you can see when it spikes up and when it goes back down as it gets clean. You can take a look at 24 hours, seven days, or even a month. Now up here on the top, we also do have a gear icon. So if we tap on that, we do have a firmware update available and you always wanna update your firmware. It's very nice to see that we actually have an update for this air purifier, so let's get it installed. Okay, it's using Bluetooth to send the update over to the air purifier and gonna get it installed. All right, it took about five minutes and the firmware is now up to date. So now we can go back. We can also adjust the name for the air purifier right here. Fan speed, air quality ring. We can have adaptive brightness so it'll automatically adjust the brightness depending on the lighting condition. Or you can manually adjust it all the way down or all the way up depending on how bright you want it. Next, we also have our info display which is the same thing going on here. Automatic brightness or manual brightness. We can turn the timer on in here as well. We can have it set to one minute or any amount of hours or minutes that you want. You can also schedule the unit to turn on and turn off at specific dates and times. We can turn the feedback sound off so you know how it has that little chime. If you don't like that, you can turn that off. Filter life we can see. You can also buy a filter. We can see the model. We can see our connectivity is thread and it uses a router eligible end device and the thread status is router and open thread version. And we can also see our user manual and report issues and see what firmware version we are on. So now just for a quick comparison to see how accurate the PM 2.5 sensor is in this unit, let's check it with my air quality meter. So if we take a look here, my air quality sensor says we have two and over here on the air purifier, it also says two. So it looks like they both have the same level of accuracy. So remember, because this is 
is working with Apple HomeKit and Thread, we can go inside our Apple Home app and see it and control it as well. So we can tap on it. It brings up this little remote control. We can turn it on and off as well as increase the fan speed to whatever level we want, just like so. Very cool. Down on the bottom, we do have a gear icon where we have a couple of different settings. We can set the room, the number of accessories. We have two because we have the air purifier as well as the air quality sensor. We can add it to our home view, include it in favorites, set automations, set different scenes, and do all the stuff you can do inside the Apple Home app, which is very great. So you can completely customize and automate your smart home. For example, if we go to suggested scenes, it says when leaving home to automatically turn off. So you can set that if you want to, or even set it to ramp up the fans when you walk outside your door. Now, because the air quality is already good, I'm gonna light up this candle right here. Get some smoke flowing in the air. As you can see, the air quality sensor, whoa, it went all the way up to 800. This is some bad smoke right here. So as you can see, it's picking up the change in air quality and it's ramping up the fans in order to take care of the problem. It's going all the way back down underneath 100 now, so it's doing a great job. Let me actually blow out this candle. Got a bunch of smoke here. It's sucking in the smoke very well, nice. It went all the way up to 1,000 and it maxed out the fans once again. The air coming out doesn't smell like smoke, I'll tell you that. And the fan is ramping back down as the air quality gets better. And as you can see, the color of the ring of lights is changing based on the quality of the air. Wow, look at that. It's already back down from a thousand back to under a hundred. Very impressive. The fan's going back down, it's turning green and we're back to normal. Very cool. So let me just light this again. It's going up. Just a little bit. There's not any smoke really right now. But then, look at all this smoke in the air. It's ramping up the fan. Sucking it in. <laughs> it's at a thousand again. Very nice, it's doing a very good job at getting rid of this smoke and odor. I mean, the air coming out smells very, very clean. I like that. I thought I would still smell a hint of smoke, but it smells clean. So now remember, this is a HomePod and Thread enabled air purifier, so we can use our HomePod mini to control the air purifier. Something like this. Hey, so turn the air versa fan speed to max. Okay, I set the air It did it. To 100%. Hey, so turn the air versa purifier to one fan speed. Okay. Hey, so Turn the air purifier to automatic mode. Okay. Okay, it's working. The air purifier to auto. Okay, what else we got? Hey, what's my home air quality? Air quality sensor detects poor air quality in the bedroom. There we go. Look at Shall that. Shall I turn on the air purifier? Yes. That was actually very cool. Siri asked me if I wanted to turn on the air purifier because it told me that the air quality was bad. But now that it came back down, hey. How's the air quality in my home? Air quality sensor detects excellent air quality in the bedroom. That's very cool. So if you have one of these in each individual room, you can ask what the air quality is in a specific room to figure it out, even if you're not in that room. So I really like that. So all in all, as you can see, this is a very nice air purifier that's actually very smart, running over thread connectivity, which is great, especially because I can control it with my phone, my voice, or right here on the air purifier itself. As you saw with the smoke test, it did a great job at ramping up the fans, getting rid of the smoke, and getting rid of all the toxins in the air, and bringing the levels back down. All the way from a thousand 
back down to normal levels that are safe to breathe. So that was very cool. Didn't smell any smoke coming out once it passed through the filter. It did a very good job at filtering out all that mess. So whether you're looking for an air purifier that you can set up to automatic mode and just set it and forget it, or you want to be able to control it with your smart devices using thread, I can definitely recommend the Air Versa Purell air purifier because it works very well. It's extremely easy to set up and even easier to use. Thank <laughs> you.